into my studio. Uh, we are on the final work through of the 5x5 five five Just Junk Journal. So um, I've kind of got this laid out for us and um, today I want to work on the cover. I want to get the dashboard done. I want to address the closures on these um, envelopes, get the tabs on, We'll probably do belly bands and flips. And really, that's all. I'm not going to um, show you as I decorate through the journal. I'm going to come back and do some of the decorating, maybe do a few more embellishments and things, and then come back and do a final flip through before this little um, chunky journal is um, put up for a giveaway. So let's just jump in and get started. Um, I want to get the dashboard done. So what I'm going to do, I'm using, this is the back of a tablet, like a writing tablet. You need something kind of rigid. If all you have is like cardstock or something, glue two or three pieces together so that you get something fairly rigid. You don't want it too thick, um, but you want it pretty rigid. Even like or even like one of the cereal boxes, they're a little more rigid. You might glue two of those together, something like that. You know, that's, um, and you want it to be smooth. Make sure it's smooth. And I'm going to, since it's going to tuck in the back of my journal, I'm going to kind of look and see about what size I need that to be. And I'm going to cut a piece of this. Um, I think I can probably just do it four and three quarters by four and three quarters and that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna because I want it slightly smaller but I want it to where it's rigid enough that when we do our pages we can um, have enough that'll you know that you can slide it under to write so I'm gonna do this one's four and three quarters and four and three quarters this way four and three quarters try to make sure I got that straight Hope my head's not sticking in there so about like that I'm gonna cut that I hope my cutter will cut this I really need a Replace the blade. I was thinking about that yesterday when I was using it, and then you know how you clean up after you're done and you don't think about it again until you're going to use it, and then you go, Oh, it probably needs a new blade. Don't know that that went all the way through. There. And. that let's um i'm gonna cover this now you could use some of your book page or anything like that um you know we also had in our die kit we had these um folders this would be a good one if you glued you know two pieces of this together so um i'm going to choose paper and i think i'm going to go ahead and use I don't know if I have any more of this dyed. I was trying to look in my little bag of tricks over here. I don't think I do. I think I'm out. Somehow I missed one piece when I dyed it, but I don't think that really matters. Um, this is a little more crinkly, and this is a little more smooth. So I think I'm going to go with this. And I'm going to glue the paper all the way around this. I'm going to leave myself a little border here. So that I go around the edges of this like that. So I can fold that around a little bit and then put one piece on top. And I may use the, the other paper on the back, the um, book page. So I want to cut it just a little bit larger. And I hope that waterfall 
noise in the background is not distracting to y'all. I've got my studio door open. We are getting a little spring-like weather, and it's just really nice outside. And uh, my pond is just making all kinds of noise. Oh, I should have opened this before I got on camera. I just got my glue order. I've been waiting for my glue to come in. I've been using a different glue. And, uh, oh, I prefer this much, much more to that. I just want one little stick. There we go. You can use matte medium or whatever you want to on this. Um, I'm not going to get that out. I'm going to goo this up pretty good. My large sticks didn't come in. Only my package of small sticks. I'm not sure what happened there. Okay. I can no longer get this. I used to could get this glue locally, and I can't get it locally anymore. So, press that down. I'm going to use my, whoops, my card to kind of smooth that really well. Get, get it near those edges. And I'm taking this card and running it along this edge here to kind of press that down around the edge of the, it helps it when I fold it over. Not, don't cut through the paper. Don't press down. You're just lightly scoring it so that it kind of gets that shape there for you. And you can see how that's kind of almost made a little, you know, it makes it easier to bend around there. And what I like to do is put glue on my corners first. And I'm going to pull that corner, corner to corner, like this, and glue that down. And like this, and glue that down. And I'm kind of using my thumbnail to get it right up against that little fold. Ooh, I'm having a lot of trouble with my hands today. We'll see how much we get done. This may end up two videos. I'd like to get it done in one, but we'll we'll see. Oh my. Okay. There we go. And then I'm going to put a little bit on this edge and pull that up and around and seal it nicely. So we get a nice little fold there. Do that to all four sides. I've been wondering. I could train myself to use my left hand. <laughs> my right hand is worse than my left one, and so it's like, <sighs> okay, so see how nice and smooth that is? That'd be great for writing. So I'm gonna measure this side and cut myself a piece to use on the back, something like that. Let's see how that works out for me. Intensive purposes that is going to work perfect for that. Getting it to stick down because it's kind of a thicker paper. I need to put a lot of glue. I don't like using little these little sticks for this because man, I just you know it's like a whip through them. But my larger one should be here today. Let's see, a little crooked there. Slide it that way a little bit. I think that's got it. Where's the spreader? Try to get that out to the edge. I get work all that out where everything is stuffed down. And this is literally all you do for a dashboard. You don't want it decorated, you don't want it lumpy, you want it to be smooth. I'm going to kind of go along those edges with my fingers. And that's all you want for a dashboard because all this is for is when you're working in this journal, for you to slide it under a page 
so that you can write or whatever you're going to do and it gives you some stability. So that's all the dashboard is. Just going to stick it there in the back of the book and it will, you know, be in there when you need it. Okay, let's go over to these, um, the little uh, window envelopes that we can stick things in. This is, this is the tab that's going to hold that closed. So, what I had done is I'd made two little tags when we were doing our tags that day. And um, on whatever video that was, I had done a round one and a square one. And I did, um, I was using the, uh, I believe it was the cracker box. And I just covered the front and the back with little paper and images. And this one's got a little sleeping chipmunk, and then this one has a, a little bee on it. And I'm going to use a little bit, since it kind of seals quickly, I'm going to use a little of the Fabrifix. And use this as a tab closure for these. Let's see, I'm going to put the, the chipmunk here. The little sleepy chipmunk. Let's see, how does he... Is he curled sideways? Is he curled up this way? I didn't think about that when I put him on there. Like, how is he curled in his little burrow? I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? Um, and I have to decide if I want to cover this because there's kind of this, you know, kind of like not so pretty part there. So what I think I'll do with that is just take some of the, where I use the cardboard to stamp this, and I think I'll just put a little journaling spot there. So, let's cut this edge down because it's a little too long. Kind of figure out about how big I want that. Maybe about right there. I'm going to ink the edges with my potting soil ink. Everything is difficult today. Oh my. It's too pretty of a day to have difficulties. Okay. Got a little ink on that. And I'm just going to glue that right down to the um, cup to cover that up. I feel like I'm getting too cluttery here. It's a little cluttery. I would like to try the art glitter glue. I have never tried that. If you've tried it, um, I would appreciate it if you leave me a, a kind of a comment on a review of what you think of it. And I think I've heard that it's not stinky like this. This stuff has got, I think it's got acetone in it or something and it smells terrible. Okay. I'm sorry, I cannot, I can hardly bend to my fingers today and making things irritably difficult. Okay, got that in there. Now, what I want to do with this is I want to glue this little tab like this. I want to kind of see where, you know, I want this to be able to open and catch. So I only want to glue part of it down. So I'm only going to glue the bottom part here. And let's try to cap that a little bit where it just catches the edge, let me scoot it over a little bit, just catches the edge, and I should have had a clip over here. really need to clip that. I'm going to let that go out for right now. And then once this is dry and it's stuck, you can just tuck that underneath there to hold it closed. Okay? Let's flip over to the other one, and this is the one that had the bees and the wasps. And I'll, you know what I did? I hope I put that, oh, it doesn't matter. It's lined. Um, I'm going to tell you what I'm looking for. The fact that, um, I'm, for some reason, I'm starting to get paranoid about not doing things right side up. <laughs> did I do that right side up? I did. Okay, let's do that again. Add a journal page there. Cut it off somewhere about here. 
and ink the edges. We're just going to add a journaling, I said page, but I meant a block, like a journal. Oh, let me cut that off a little bit so it's more even. I meant a journaling block. And glue that down. And we're going to do the same thing with the B and glue. Um, Glue him down as a as a closure for that. That takes care of that, and then we'll kind of look at our tabs and see where we want to put those. This just kind of covers up some of that part. I'm my little bee. Where are you, bee? Figure out about how much of him I need and where I need him. I'm just going to glue the bottom half. See about where I want him. About there. And let him glue in place. And then we'll be able to tuck that underneath there. Okay, let's look at some tabs. Where are the tabs? And figure out, um, we made our tabs. We decided we could do them in different ways. I think I am going to add little animals to mine. Um, I don't want them fully covered like this one. This one I'll probably add to a tag, so I'm going to toss it aside. I won't be using that, that right there. Um, and I'll probably use five of these maybe, and then some of these may be used for other things. So let me pick out five of these that I like, two, three, four, I'm probably going to use one on each signature. Um, now you can use more, less, whatever. Um, but I think I'm going to use these. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and glue them on. And then I'll come back and figure out what I'm sticking on there. I'll cut out my little, you know, things. So with the first one, I think I'm going to stick one to each one of these collage pages. So, um, um, let me, where's my clips? I have a little thing of clips. Where did I sit those? Oh, here they are. They're actually on my work surface. They just got pushed behind something. I want to be able to clip that on there. And I think I'll start with one here. And why not start with a cute little bunny? So, I'm going to put some on the edge of here, get some glue going, and I might put something on the back too, I'm not sure, but I know I'm going to put something for sure on the front. Okay, and I'm going to start this one up here at the top of the page and have a little tab there, and I'm going to kind of clip that on to hopefully help it dry and stick. Sorry if I'm moving the book around, but I'm trying to get it kind of flatten that out and clip this on to kind of hold it while it adheres there. Then I'm going to flip to the last signature here, and I'm going to put one at the very bottom here. And I think I want that one to be the middle and this one to be the end. So, this one will be the last one. I'm going to go ahead and glue it here. Trust me, there is a method to my madness sometimes. 
and I like to do this if I get my first and last one in then I can kind of oops see how I need to divide out the rest of these so And then I can kind of look and see where these lay, that I have one here and one here. I want to find the middle one. I'm going to put my middle one in next. And I know some people just go blah, blah, blah. Now, I, I'm sort of a symmetrical person. So, um, and won't that one be cute with a bird on it because it's like a little branch? Um, I'm sort of a symmetrical kind of person. So, that, um, let me see if that's about where I want that. Somewhere about right there. I kind of maybe I can put the glue on the page since it's just bubbling itself out everywhere um, and get this one on right about where I wanted it somewhere in the middle ish of this and then I'm gonna go back and do the last two And you can add as many as you want. You can add them random. I don't know why. Sometimes I make myself a little crazy with this. And then these, I'm going to add to the cardboard sections. To the front of the cardboard section, I think. Let's see. No, maybe I won't add those on the cardboard. Maybe those will be added. Let's see. Maybe I'll use six. Maybe I'll add them to the back of the page. I may be adding six instead of five. Like to the back of where this other um, handmade paper is that's the front of that one. I think I kind of like that idea of kind of staggering a bunch of them down the little side like that. I have to be careful though because I do need a tie to go around this. But I do like that idea. So I think I'll do that and kind of stagger them. I'll add a couple I'll add another one. I made plenty. I made several and you know if they don't get used on this they can get used on something else. So I'm going to put one kind of in between there on this. So I'll put all mine on, on, on these sort of little handmade pieces. pick another one to go with this. I think that one. Okay, I'll use those two. Okay. And then I'm going to go back to this one and put one where is this one? Okay, I've got, let me look at my, look at my book. So maybe I want to put one somewhere about here on that one. And let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, let's see. Oops. I'll put this one somewhere about here. All the glue that's coming out. I kind of wish I would have taken that one back up to the top, this one here, but I didn't, so it is what it is. And let's see, tuck that in so I can see what that looks like. Like, I wish I would have started this one back at the top. I wonder if I can get that off without damage. I should have, well, I should have planned that out, but I was going to, I wasn't planning on using more than that. Oh, 
Yay! Saved. Okay, and then I'll start this one back at the top. You might want to figure yours out before you go and stick them down. I was trying to be decisive here. <laughs> that didn't work out for me so well. I'm going to go back up to the top with this one and then back down to the middle with the next one. Because when I was only going to use five, it was going to work out. But we can use six. That's fine. Okay, and then I'll go back to the middle on this one. All right, that gets me, gets my tabs on. That was pretty quick. That was nice to do something that was semi-quick anyway. This journal has taken forever, and it normally wouldn't take that long. It's just I've had a lot of inter interruptions health-wise, and so it's just slowed me down. Um, being able to film and um, you know, that kind of thing, so, but hopefully I'm going to be over the hump on that as the weather warms. Okay, we've got that done. Now, let's talk about this cover a little bit, and let's, uh, contain this glue. It's going everywhere. I'm trying to reach my wipes here. It's just going everywhere. Get a lid on that thing. Let those insides kind of dry a little bit, and then we'll um, talk about the cover. So I know I wanted a tie on this, and what I'm going to use for that is um, a piece of that shirt that I pulled out for a fabric piece. And I'm going to want to um, kind of make myself a long, ugh, see if I can get the glue off because I don't want to get glue all over everything. I'm going to make myself sort of a long strip of that fabric off of here. Let's see. Probably tearing around this hemline would be the best. I'm not sure it's tearing evenly, but I can fix that later. Let's see, continue going. I just want to get a really long strip. Okay, that takes care of that. And Kind of try to see if I can even this up with the scissors. I don't know if it's going to let me tear it any kind of evenly, but maybe, nope, it's not. Okay, well, we're just going to have a random torn whatever. <laughs> Didn't tear anywhere near where I wanted it to, but I'm going to let, I'm just going to let it be what it's going to be. Okay, there, I've got a better strip. That's actually not too bad. That's not too bad. Okay. Um, this is going to be the center where this um, little uh, seam is. And I'll probably put a decoration there or something to kind of cover that up. I need to see about how much of this I need. I want to make sure that I leave myself plenty of length here. To I don't know if I want to do a wrap tie. Let's see. I could do a wrap tie. No, I want it to tie here because I'm going to decorate the front. It's going to need to tie on the side. So, um, which actually I could put that under my cover and you wouldn't even see it. So that doesn't really matter. I don't need to do anything there. I'm just seeing how long I want this to be. I know I don't want it to be that long. Um, I want it to tie, but it didn't have to be crazy. Okay kind of got myself now a, a tie and I, I think I want to stencil this like we did on here when we stenciled for this let me come in a little bit more um, I don't want to do too much because I move around a lot but I'm thinking that I want it to have that stenciled look 
So I'm going to demo that again in case you don't want to go back to that video. And I'll do this off camera. I'm not going to stencil this whole thing while, while we're here. But I used this little bag and it came with, I don't remember if it was potatoes or onions, and my brown ink and my dauber. And I simply just stenciled through the, um, the bag. I used the bag as a stencil, which gave me a little um, pattern on my ribbon to make it not so white. Now, you could just, if you wanted to, you could just dull yours down like that, you know, just with that. But I kind of like the idea of getting a pattern, um, you know, almost like a little plaid ribbon. So, I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to do this on both sides of my ribbon, and I'll be right back. Okay. All done. I've stenciled both sides of my ribbon. And so I've got a texture and a pattern on there. Another thing I want to do some texture and pattern on, I've got a piece of just a packaging. It's like plastic packaging. And you could use some wax paper. You could use one of those non-stick craft mats. I'm going to put a few pieces of masking tape on here while I'm stenciling. This is for something else I want to do, but... While I'm stenciling, I'm going to just run a couple pieces of this masking tape on here. And I'm putting it on here so I can peel it back up. And I'm going to stencil my masking tape, too. This is going to make some faux washi tape. Just going to use my little stencil. And you could also use your um, bubble wrap, which I might do that, too, with the bubble wrap. And... Um, I need more. My ink pad is almost out. Let's see if I can kind of stamp in there a little bit more. Yeah, I got it more on that one. Let's see if I can get some more on this side. I need to get a different ink pad out, I think. I'm going to really, really work this ink, but I'm going to get through this book before I do that. Okay. Now, it's kind of faint, and it's hard to tell on that brown surface, but you can see. And I'm also going to do, I think I'll do some of the bubble wrap with the white paint and paint some bubbles on some of it to make some faux washi tape for the book. So you can do that um, to make yourself some washi tape out of just plain old masking tape. And then when I glue it down, I always put a little uh, glue stick under it just to make sure that it's, you know, the sticky's not off. So that's another thing you can do. Okay. We've got that done. I have taken a piece of the lace from the sleeve of the garment, and I'm going to grungy it up a little bit with just the leftover ink that's in my dauber here. And I have kind of cut that to uh, go across the front of my cover here. So that it fits across, just kind of right there, across the bottom. <sighs> Had some little bits there. And we had already made a, um, a woven piece. We had previously, when we made our cover, we made a little woven piece for this. So that's going to go on my front with this lace. And my tie is going to go under there. And right now, what, I, what my debate is, is do I want to cover my spine? And oops, if I do, I would like to use this paper here to cover, possibly to cover the spine. You know, if I want to cover the spine. So, I've got it torn there. I would need to tear it somewhere here. Where's my ruler? I need to tear it down somewhere right through here. And let me straighten this side up just a hair if I can. Oh dear. I'll get a hold of the paper before I put the ruler up there. I think my craft video days are coming to a close if this keeps up. Okay, so I've got this, and I was debating if I wanted to 
just cover up the stitching and give that a little bit more character and I think I do I think I do so let me square that off so I'll know about how much I need for that Somewhere along in there. Just kind of eyeballing. Oh, well, that looked good until I moved it. Looks pretty good. Tear that little piece off. Now, this I'll use some matte medium and adhere that here. I'm going to ink the edges and get out some matte medium and apply that to the spine. Now you don't have to put anything on yours if you don't want to. I just think I want a little more oops, of the color and design on there. should be doing this off to the side, not in the middle of my mat here, in the middle of my thing where I'm working. Put some on the paper, and then I'm going to put some on the spine. This also helps with that stitching, staying closed. I'm going to pay careful attention to my little edges there, especially. And I'm going to do just the spine part right now, and then I'll do the little edges as I get to those. And let's see which way's up. This is up. I want that little stain part right there toward the top. And now to kind of see, I've got more in the back than the front. good with that. I like the little ridges that are going in there. I think that gives it some texture there. Smoothing out the air bubbles. And I'm just using my finger with this because this is really old um, wrapping paper and I don't want to really to ruin it. But um, Fold that up. Kind of ought to trim that. Whoops. And put some more on the back. And fold that over. And I'm going to smooth those edges just down with my fingers. And I can take an X Acto and trim that when I'm done if I need to. Okay. I feel like that's covered really well right there. The next thing I want to do, now you could have put your ribbon underneath there. I don't, I'm going to let mine just kind of wrap around the entire book. And I'm thinking that, where is my ribbon? Oh, right there in front of me. I want to make sure that I attach this. I'm going to let this go around my spot. Whoops, there went my dashboard. I'll take that out for right now. Um, and you could glue it there on the spine if you want it to. And I may. I may glue it there. And then, you know, when it unties, let me get my ties even. Let's see, I had it the right way around because I know that this was on top. I had that little weird funky piece on top where the seam of the, the shirt was. Yeah, had it more like that. Okay, somewhere about like that. So, I'm going to um, take my um, fabric glue. I'm going to slide this down a little bit. And put some fabric glue right there in that middle. And glue my tie on. I just moved way off camera. 
I just happened to look up and I'm like, I'm just doing my own little thing here, getting in my own little world. Sorry about that. <sighs> I'm going to glue this little tie here. I'm going to move that over just a tad because I want that to be under that seam to be kind of hidden there. Now, I've got my little tie there. That's good. I'm going to leave it loose in the back. Now, you could glue it, but I'm going to leave it loose in the back. I am going to glue it in the front because I'm going to have a, a, a decoration here on the front. And so I want to make sure that it doesn't, you know, flip off the, the decoration part here. doesn't just come off. Okay, and I'm going to glue this down. Then I'm going to let this rest a minute. Take a little break and I will come back and we will continue to work on this book. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, I let this sit a few minutes to, you know, kind of dry and everything. And I may end up going ahead and not letting that be so loosey-goosey. We'll see, but that's, that's in the future of the design. Okay, so we had made this little woven piece earlier. And I know I'm going to use that. And I want to use this little piece of lace right there like that. Then I took a piece of this cardboard that I was using to stamp. Let's see, I cut a piece of this off. This is what I was using to stamp the lines on that yellow um, book cover. So um, that I was using to stamp these with the ink. I took a piece of this and cut it off, and I've got a piece of this, and that may be too large. Maybe I'll turn it the other way. I don't know, for interest. It does cover up a ton of the weaving, but I don't know that I want, let's see. And then I've torn off a piece of that yellow paper. Let's see how I want this. I may offset it. I may set that up higher. Let's see. Put this down low, this up high where they meet in the middle. Then offset this so I still get some of that weaving effect, kind of covering it. I've kind of um, torn up a piece of that paper, the, the little yellow paper, and a little piece of this. And I've got a little piece of the green here and another little piece of the green I'll put down here just little scraps of things Ugh. my hands are I'm trying to design this how I want it to look sort of before I glue anything and then I had this little um, piece here let me go ahead and kind of ink it a little bit um, around the edges just to maybe give it a little offset of um, contrast just lightly not too much and then I had this bird that I wanted to use on there good bit of glue for the other piece. And then we'll just go from there. We'll figure it out. That one to butt up to that one. Okay turn that over and hold it for a second to let it get a good uh, pressing down. I guess while I'm doing that I could take these clips off. That would be something while I'm holding this. At least it's semi-productive, huh? I think I've decided after this that I'm not going to do another series again because it, things are just too unpredictable here and I can't tell when things are going to be good and when they're not. 
and it just takes too long so I think I'll just stick to either mini projects or more technique driven things and not do long absorbing projects like this or if I did a project like this it might be have to do like one a month or something you know like a series but it's like one part a month or something because I just everything is too unpredictable right now all right the last of that unclipped takes a little bulk out of the book that front should be seated enough that I can work with it now yeah just wanted to make sure that it was good and You know held down held in place so it wasn't going to come off okay I like that now I need to decide if I'm going to go this way dump everything off there this way with this or do I want to keep it elongated with another layer and I may cut this down this may get cut down this I was thinking I would kind of scrunch it up in the middle it wouldn't be all the way it's just going to be a peak here and there it's not going to be covering up all that um, I kind of just squinch it down like that where it's not covering up all that um, right there in the middle so let's go ahead and commit to the fabric I'm going to put some glue just in the middle and glue down the middle of the fabric and I'm going to kind of pull some of it in and just scrunch it a little bit in that petal of glue there kind of like that just going to scrunch it up in that petal because I don't want it to cover up everything that we've done I just want a little bit and while it's still wet I'm going to pull it a little bit here and there so I've got it about where I want it, about like that. So I'm going to go in and just every little spot, I'm going to just dot a little line of glue to get that to hold in place where it's at. Scrunch some of it back up. So we don't want anything falling off. It's not, not cool. Okay. I'm going to commit to this piece. I'm just going to I'm just going to go for it. I'm I'm not going to waffle anymore. I'm just just it'll be what it'll be. Okay. There we've got that on there. Kind of hold and squish. I have got a little piece of this yellow paper. brown showing above. Give me that. A little yellow down here. I'm kind of using that rule of threes where you use three little pieces and I've lost my other little piece of yellow paper. I don't know where it is but I know where my green paper is going so let me just go to the green paper. I'll find the yellow in a minute or I'll tear another one. Piece of green. A titch of yellow for wherever my yellow paper went. So if I saw it, I don't. I know that I'm going to put this in the center behind those birds. So I'm going to put a little bit in the middle there. Kind of scrunch that a little bit in there have a little bit of a texture find more yellow paper oops a little bit too much glue there Wipe. 
and I'm going to put these birds down. I'm still feeling like there's something, I don't know what, that I might need to, let me use a piece of this little washi, faux, faux washi, maybe a little something there will spark something. I feel like it's still too too yellow, like I might need a little more contrast there or something. I like that. Get another little piece. And it might be that everything is so linear, too. That could be part of it, that everything is too linear. Okay, wanted to, I had to stop and kind of play around with this cover a little bit to get it um, like I wanted it. You'll see that the image on the front has changed. But I wanted to tell you what I did do. I used everything that I had originally put together with the original birds on there. And it was all yellow green, yellow green, yellow green, and there was no contrast. And I really didn't like it. So I took some paper, some book page strips, and kind of crunched them up as I sewed them in through my machine to make a paper ruffle with a zigzag stitch. And I cut some little pieces of it and applied that as part of the collage. I used another piece of the tea bag that has this little um, paint texture on it. And then out of the book that I'm using, I found a different bird. This one has more contrast to it. Then this side was looking a little blank where the lace was, so I took the placket off of the blouse where the buttons were. This was all one piece where the little buttons were at the top. And I cut it apart, and I used some of my thread from my sewing machine and just sewed a little X and inked those and just glued those down the edge. And then, of course, you know, um, stamped some of the shirt material, and that is glued around the book. I haven't decided if I'm doing anything on the spine yet or not. Um, for right now, I think I'm going to leave it like it is, but I am really happy with that cover now. You can kind of see it a little bit better. It's got all the nice juicy layers, the weaving and the cloth and the cardboard and various papers and tapes and I just like the, the kind of messy collage handmade feel that this book has. And um, you can see our little tabs are out over here on the edge and I am actually ready now to start loading in the elements that we made throughout the um, thing and I think I'm going to do that off camera and then just come back and do a final flip through. So I've got my dashboard all ready and everything is ready to go in this journal and then I will be back with the final flip through. Flip through. <laughs> so thank you for joining me and I will see you around the studio.